this scripture, Acts chapter 3, verse 19. Yeah. And you need to go home and just look at it, read it, and ask God to help you. You know, Christians need to repent at times. Sometimes you might think something you shouldn't have thought of. Yep. You might have said something that you really didn't mean. Yes. The Bible said don't let the sun, the, the sun go down on your wrath. Yes. That word wrath there means anger. Amen. If you got angry with somebody, you need not to go to sleep with that anger in your heart. Amen. So everybody needs to repent. Amen. Especially the unsaved. If you will repent. Yeah. Amen. What is the definition of repent? It's complete turnaround. Yeah. When you get down on your knees or stand praying yeah. and ask God to forgive you of every sin that you ever committed. Amen. And you mean it from your heart. Yes. He will do it. Yes. Then he said repent and be converted. Yes. Converted to what? Jesus, hallelujah, that your sins may be blotted out. God will forgive you of every lie. He'll forgive you every fornication thoughts, adultery thoughts, every sin. He'll forgive you for that. He'll wipe your slate clean. Matter of fact, the Bible said Jesus will put all your sins in the sea of forgiveness and remember no more. So here he's saying to repent and be converted when the times of refreshing, refreshing shall come from the Lord. Excuse me. I believe there'll be times that God wants to bless you, but he can't. God will never, this Bible teaches me that he cannot move through iniquity. Amen. That word iniquity means sin. Yes, amen. God's a holy God. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, and he will not move through sin. And I will tell you something else. If you're watching something on TV that's not pleasing to God and the rapture should take place, you might be just sitting right there. He's a holy God. And He's coming back for a holy people. Pray for me tonight. The devil does not want this word to come forth. But we want revival. But that's when we need to repent. We need to seek God. Get down on our knees and repent. Make sure there's nothing in between you and God. You remember Moses. God used him mightily. But a bush caught on fire. But it wasn't an ordinary fire. It caught Moses' attention. This fire kept burning. It never consumed the bush. And out of that bush, that fire, God spoke to Moses. And he told him to pull off his shoes because he's standing on holy ground. Why? It because that leather and what that was was in between that holy land, that holy place. We cannot allow anything to come in between us and God. If we got envy and jealousy in our hearts, that's coming between us and God. If that pole was God, and this pulpit, which it is now, is in between me and God, it is closer. This pulpit is closer to that pole. Because I said that to be a symbolic as God. So this is closer. So whatever it is that's troubling you from God, blessing you, is closer to God than you are. It's in between you and God. And you cannot allow that and expect God to give you some refreshing moments with Him. I don't know if I'm teaching the night or preaching. Amen. But a lot of people don't know why. Amen. That they're not blessed like 
somebody else. Why can't I get anointed when I sing? Why can't I get anointed when I testify? Why can't I get anointed when I preach? I'm here to tell you, hey man, if you'll repent and be converted, and when the times of refreshing comes from God, you'll be the first one to receive it. Amen. Amen. Hello. Fresh. What's the definition of fresh? Like me. Like me. I looked it up. I know what I'm talking about. Make you like me. Refreshing. Every once in a while, we've been saved for a while. We need a refresh. And I, I know people's watching tonight. Matter of fact, somebody called me from Virginia told me, hey man, they watched last Sunday morning because they recorded. I know people is watching, but I'm here to tell you tonight, even you that are watching, if you want to move of God and you want a refreshing of the Spirit of God, make sure there's nothing in between you and God. When somebody pulls out in front of you, or you pull out in front of them, and they give you all kinds of hand language, and they curse you out, Hey man, if you get angry about it, you need to repent. Amen. Or if your husband or wife or children or somebody say something and you hold a grudge, you need to repent. God's not going to anoint just anything. We've got to come clean before God. David said, Lord, create in me a new heart. A new heart. Hallelujah. And the right spirit. We got to have the right spirit. I know people is watching. Amen. But I want to tell you, I am a preacher and I'm not boasting about that. I know what God has called me to do. But every once in a while, I have to get down on my knees and say, God, if there's anything in my heart, if I said anything, if I've done anything, if I thought anything, forgive me. I have to repent. Amen. Ever since I got saved, all these years, all along, I repent. This is for the church. This is in the third chapter of the book of Acts. After the day of Pentecost, after they received the Holy Ghost, I'm telling you people that's got the Holy Ghost has to repent every once in a while. I don't know who this is for, but I'm going to preach it anyway. Hallelujah. Job 32, verse 19. Quickly look at that. Job chapter 32, verse 19. Hallelujah. Why are you looking at that? Listen here. It says this. Behold, my belly is as wine which have no vent. Other words, like wine, when it's being fermented, it goes to bubbling. Hallelujah. Oh, listen to this. Behold, my belly is as wine which have no vent. It is ready to burst like new bottles. Have you ever been so full of the Holy Ghost? Glory to God, that you thought you were going to bust wide open. Amen. Yeah. Amen. I know what it is to be so full. Hallelujah. If you claim to have the Holy Ghost, hallelujah, and you've never got so full, amen. Matter of fact, the Bible says in John 7, amen, the Spirit of God will be in your belly, amen, like river flowing. Yeah. Huh. It's bad. It's bubbling. Just like my, he said here, my, it's like in my belly as wine with no vent. With no vent. You just feel like you're about letting the burst wide open. Some people get real happy. Amen. When somebody's singing. Hallelujah. When somebody's preaching. They go to feeling the Lord of God and they get so full. Hallelujah. They feel like they're going to bust. Hallelujah. I'll tell you why. That's true. You, I, I encourage you to pray until you get so full of the Holy Ghost. Glory to God. The Ghost of Bethlehem. Glory to God. How do you feel like you're about ready to burst? Hallelujah. Who are we preaching to tonight? Hallelujah. You can, oh, you can be so full. With the fresh oil. Listen to what the psalmist said. How the refreshing of the Spirit of God. 
You feel like you're just going to burst right open. Psalms 92 said this, verse 10. This is David talking. He said, I shall be anointed with fresh oil. Fresh oil. The oil represents the Holy Ghost. Meaning the Spirit of God. I shall be anointed with fresh oil. Not old, burnt, stagnated oil. But fresh oil. Amen. Not what you had a year ago or ten years ago. Fresh anointing. Be filled with the Spirit every day. Hallelujah. And then Job 32, 20. Look at this verse. I will speak that I may be refreshed. Glory to God. When you get the Spirit of God in your belly, Hallelujah, you feel like if you're going to burst wide open, then you can speak. Then you can testify. Then you can sing. Then you can preach. Then you can witness. Glory to God. But wait till you're about to burst and then God will give you the words. That's what it means. I shall be anointed with fresh oil. If we'll pray and seek God, amen, we can be like Job 32, 20. I will speak. That I may be refreshed. When you get anointing, you'll get that refreshing. Hallelujah from the Lord. Glory to God. You cannot really witness until you are refreshed in the Holy Ghost, the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Oh, thank God. It's not by might, it's not by power. But it's by my spirit, yes. saith the Lord. Oh, Job now 33. Turn over one more chapter. Verse 4. I don't know if I've ever preached so much out of Job. <laughs> Listen, the spirit of God hath made me. You don't make yourself. It's the spirit of God that makes you. Have you ever wondered why this one gets anointed on a certain thing? And somebody else don't. They go to the same church to read the same Bible. It's because some people try to make it on their own. But Job, amen, he said here, it's the Spirit of God that hath made me. I haven't made, I'm like I am because of the Spirit of God. I do what I do. Hallelujah. Because of God made us. The Spirit of God made me. And, and the breath of the Almighty, mighty, have given me life. Have you ever wondered why people say, well, why can't I live like that? Why can't I have a life like they do? Amen. It's because the Spirit of God made them. They didn't make them on their own. You cannot make it on your own. You can't make it through on your own. The disciples, even Jesus told them to get in the boat to go to the other side. But a storm came. They couldn't make it on the other side on their own. Even though they were disciples of Jesus Christ. Jesus came to them in the night in the storm walking on the water. And when he got in the boat, the storm ceased. We cannot make it on our own. He's got to make us. We are what we are. Amen. By the Spirit of God. Who are we preaching to tonight? <laughs> we got to have Jesus. I wish everybody would go home and read Genesis 1. Start in verse 1. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Notice God created the heaven first. Then the earth. And the earth was without form. The earth had no form. The earth was void. It was empty. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. Read it. Study it. And then and the Spirit of God moved on the face of the water. Yes. Hallelujah. This earth was covered in water. This earth was dark. The sun couldn't shine. 
Total darkness in verse 2. Total darkness. That's the way I was before I got saved. And you too. Amen. We walked in darkness. But Jesus Christ is the light of the world. Can you say amen? And when the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the, wa the, face of the water, something happened. Something great happened. Hallelujah. Oh, I'm here to tell you, amen, without God, we're nothing. Amen. Thank God for the move of God. He'll make you. We are like the earth. Until God's Spirit moved upon us. You know, you can't get saved unless the Spirit of God moves on you to draw you. Can you say amen? I don't know who we're preaching to tonight, but I sure feel it. We're just like this earth. We, 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 we had no form. We had no shape. We was void. We was empty. You know why people take dope? It's because they're void. They're empty. Yes. You know why people turn to alcohol? It's because they're void. They're yes. empty. Yes. They're miserable. Yes. They say, if I can just smoke this or take this, I'll be all right. But when it wears off, they're worse. If I could just move to the other side of town, if I could do this, hey, if I could get this man or this woman or this job, but they get all of that and they still void. Just like the earth. Without the Spirit of God, you have no shape. You are void and darkness is upon your heart. But I'm here to tell you tonight, once the Spirit of God moves on you, He'll shape you. He'll fill you. You won't be void no more. You'll be satisfied. When I was coming up, there was a song, rock and roll. I can't get no satisfaction. That's the truth. You cannot get satisfied. Nothing will satisfy you. I'm telling you, you say you can win the lottery and be sad, but no, you just be a rich, miserable, blind, tormented person. It takes the Spirit of God to shake you, to feel you, to satisfy you. Thank God for salvation. Hallelujah. Thank God for the Holy Ghost. Thank God for God. Thank God for Jesus. Thank God for the Holy Ghost. Thank God moved upon us. He will do the same for you. He'll do the same for you. I'm not proud of my past. I'm not proud of it. But I feel compelled to tell somebody I was wasn't like this forever. I was a thief. I was a liar. I loved alcohol. I loved the fast lane. I got tattoos on me before I got right there still on me. I was in the Florida school for boys. Juvenile. Delinquent. I pulled time. But I ran to you. God made me. Glory to God. The Spirit of God made me. I, I, I wasn't like this all my life. But the age 23. Glory to God. I was sitting in the back of a church bound with two packs of cigarettes a day. Bound with alcohol. But the Spirit of God moved on this dark sand. Glory to God. And I went down to an altar and I repented. And if you will repent, if you will repent, there will be time a refreshing will come upon you. He'll make you new again. That's why Hallelujah, Jesus said, you must be born again. Yes. At age 23, 
It was impossible for me to go back into my mother and grow nine months and be reborn. How many times have I said, if I could just live my life over? You know, we can't wait till we get to be a teenager. Then we can't wait to get 16 to get a driver's license. Can't wait till 21 we can legally buy alcohol. You know? But I was still lost, bound, empty. Had no shape. Void. My heart was dark. Darkness. I haven't always been this way. A preacher. A daddy. They got a song out you need to listen to. When Dale back there, our son was six years old when his mother and I got saved. There's a song. When he came home this time, after going to the altar and praying, he came home. His little boy ran like all the other time and hid behind the door. But daddy says, son, you don't have to hide no more. You got a brand new daddy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Slipping, 
saying this or doing that. You need to come back. I had to ride the altar. You know, in church, I got built up here in the stranding. I'm talking about at age 23 when I got saved. And when I hear the preaching, I was encouraged, Kenneth. Oh, but listening to those filthy men's mouth that I work with and the posters up in the cool room and the bathroom, the nudity. nudity. You had to go around like this, you know. People are cursing, telling filthy jokes. So by Monday, I get kind of a little sideways. And Wednesday, I was completely sideways. But I'm going to church on Wednesday night and get refreshed. Oh, yeah. Glory to God. Oh, and Thursday morning, go into that workplace feeling good. And here it starts all over again. Friday and Saturday, I'm just about turned sideways again. But Sunday morning, oh, it was a fight. It was a fight. Oh, but I kept going to the altar. Hallelujah. And I kept praying to God sanctify me. And when he sanctifies you, he takes all of that out. He takes all that lust out. He takes all that temptation out. Glory to God. You can stick your chest out. Amen. And walk right in front of the baddest of the baddest of the heathens. Yes, yes. They don't know God. Can't grab your Bible. Now our daughter, she got saved. Oh, after we, I mean, she got born after we got saved. She don't know nothing about that. Kind of life. But I'm telling you, I want to kind of bear down. Amen. In Job there, he said, the Spirit of God made me. I can't, you know, every year, January, I make some New Year revolution, you know, and break every one of them. Oh, yeah, everybody want to do better. Just like everybody want to lose weight. But I don't know how many times you get on a, a diet plan, it fails. You cannot serve God on your own. Amen. You need to keep on until you pray through. Amen. If it takes every church sir, every day, pray till you get it. Then greater is He that's in you than He is in the world. Once you get that void field, the devil can tempt you all day long and say, no, I got a wife. Glory to God. No, I don't need that drunk. I don't need that shot. The joy Fussing 
and the front end of the car fell out. But when I got right, when I got right with God, hallelujah, I started prospering. Instead of, instead of making house payment, we own it. Instead of making car payment, we own it. I'm telling you, church, and I'm not boasting. I'm missing Jesus up. Yeah, I'm missing Jesus up. Yeah, and we didn't have to go to Sea World to have a good time. We didn't have to go out there and spend a lot of money. We took the change. We were talking about the other day. And put a, my wife put a coffee can in the middle of the room. Dale sat in one quarter. Andrew sat in the other quarter. Charlemagne, my wife, sat in the other quarter. I sat in And we threw and ring in the bucket. We just laugh and have a good time. You don't need alcohol. Come on now. You don't need the children's rent be thrown out. You don't need the children's clothes or milk. Hallelujah. I tell you, you can have a good time. We go to the park and we will tumble and roll. You know, a lot of people give anything for a daddy to stay home and play with them. You don't have to have this stuff of the world. Just get saved. And you won't be miserable no more. Hallelujah. Repent. Repent. Be converted. Jesus. For the times of refreshing shall come for the Lord. Jesus. You want revival? Jesus. We want revival. We want to move with God. Repent. Jesus. Repent. Yes. Get converted. I'm talking about to the church now. I ain't talking to sinners. If there's anything in our lives. You know the Bible says the heart. I'm closing. The Bible says the heart is the most deceitful above all. And who shall know it? You know those things can be in your heart that you don't know that's there? So every once in a while. I find me a place to cry out to God. I say God if there's anything. In my heart. That's not pleasing to you. I repent of it. Get it out. Get it out. And let me tell you something. He's done it every time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Do you love Jesus tonight? I hope you don't take this message as getting on to you. Amen. I want to say it's all prosper. The Bible said prosper is your soul prospers. He wants you to be in health. He wants you to live. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus is our life. Yes. And the Bible says you can have a life and have it more abundantly. Jesus. No, you don't need anything but get saved. Now this is the way I teach it. And this is the way I believe it. And I see it happen. Jesus. A family with nothing. My fact, let me tell you about one. Oh, I had a boy and a girl. He worked for Exxon. He made a lot of money. But lived in a house that the floor was gone on the dirt. Old grandma's house left it to him. Needed wood. Needed a, a nicer ride. The children's never been in the mall. Never been in the mall. Never had anything new. Never even owned a pair of jeans. But mom and daddy came to where we was holding church and got saved. And God took that same money and blessed him. Ain't that right, Bill? It wasn't long until they had a better home, a better car. And the last time I seen them, they had a big old house. A better ride. Alcohol will take you down. Drugs will take you down. And the Bible says, hey, in Malachi, it's like, or hey God, it's like putting money in a bag, but there's a hole in that bag. Yes. If you don't get what belongs to God, there's a hole in that bag. But God will take that little bit and just stretch it. Stretch it. Now we all have problems. Yes. Yeah. I came up here to the church today when I got here. I had a flat tire. Yes. 
So I called AAA. They changed it for me. Took it to the tire place. Now this has happened over and over and over and over. And then I go back to pick it up. They put the new one on, you know, put the old one back underneath and I think. I said, I pulled my billfold out, Wanda, and I said, how much are you? He said, nothing. I'm telling you, when you go for God, we all have troubles and trials in this life. Yes, but God meets every need. Yes, Even in other states, I'm thinking about it. Hallelujah. Many a time, they say, didn't even see us, never known us before. This meal's on us. Many times, God gives it back to you, pressed down, shaking together, and running over. He'll cause men to give it to your bosom. It's a grand and glorious feeling just to know when you lay your head down tonight, if the house catches fire and you die, you'll wake up in heaven. Or you get killed on the way home, you'll wake up in heaven. I, my message tonight to everybody, repent. To the sinner, to the Christian, repent. Because there'll be a time that the refreshing from God, the blessings of God, comes by and walk, goes just past you right on by. But when you stay prayed up, you stay repentant, that refreshing from God will stop. And if you're the only one in the crowd, like Angela wrote a song, he'll give you a tailor-made blessing just for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I see a job. I see the desires of your heart only if you truly repent and serve the Come here a minute. Let me pray for you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm going to believe God. He came to this all last Thursday night. Didn't he? He came last Thursday night. God let all day. He's back tonight. He needs a job. You need a job. Help him. You need your own place. You need transportation. Hey, I don't make no difference how dark it is. We serve a God. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. And He said He'll give you the desire of your heart. Everybody stretch your hands towards you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Oh, yeah. oh, I was saying one time, I, I was right there where he is. And this is one preacher, when I see an old jalopy smoking and rattling, I don't say get that junk out of my way. I go to pray and God save them. Save them, give them a new ride. Glory to God. I tell you, we got a God that wants to bless all his children. God bless Larry. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, God do. Away down in his soul. Oh, oh God, completely set him free. In Jesus' name. Go over there with the altar pray. Hey, let's just talk to God. Hallelujah. Bill, have him pray. Anybody else want special prayer tonight? Hallelujah. Anybody else? I'm having dizzy spells since I come in the door. Come on. Hallelujah. Tell us what you need. Come on. Anybody else? Any sick among you, let call for the elders of the church. Anoint them with all. The oil is symbolic of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. Strengthen them by the power of God. Hallelujah. Oh, Brother Neeson said, we have the power to rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Curse it, God. Curse it. And never let it come back. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. God help Larry. God in the name of Jesus help Timothy. God move. Anybody else want special prayer? All right. 